Here at Richardson's, we're really looking forward to welcoming you aboard for your holiday. Before you start your trip, we'd like to take you through some of the rules of the river so you know what to expect when you arrive. You should always keep to the right-hand side of the river, about six feet from the bank, and observe the speed limits which will be marked. Most waterways on the broads have a speed limit of four miles per hour. You should always wear your buoyancy aid when moving around on deck and use the handrails. As a motor vessel, you'll need to give way to sailing craft. When you come across yachts tacking, moving against the wind from one side of the river to the other, slow right down and keep to the right, and once they've turned away in front of you, pull away and behind them. Never attempt to cross in front unless instructed to do so by the yacht skipper. You should also give way to boats under tow and dinghies. When crossing waterways with channels marked by posts, you must always stay within the channel to avoid the risk of going aground. This is particularly important when crossing Braden Water to access the Southern Broads. Braden Water is the closest you can get to the sea, so it's the most tidal body of water you'll cross. You'll need to check your captain's manual to find out the right time to cross at low tide to ensure you have clearance under the bridge. At other bridges on the river, you may need to check the height of the water to ensure you have clearance. There will be posts showing the bridge height gauge before you reach the bridges. At Roxham and Potter Hyam bridges, you must use the bridge pilot service to ensure safe passage. There is a small charge for this. If you have any concerns about your cruiser at any time during your holiday, you can call us for advice and assistance on the number in your captain's manual.